Hi, I'm Mikata, and this is my Paladin Mikata subscribe. Last night I was able to beat the Ubers, and I want to tell you the story about it. I started my journey the Ubers with crafting my first Hoto in season two. So you can see I roll 37 Ores Hoto, which is pretty pretty nice. 37 Ores how I got the keys. In BT Diablo there are a few more key bosses like Blood Raven and no, my idea you. was to farm her using Holy Bolt, Fist of the Heavens and Sanctuary Aura because all other minions around Blood Raven Let's are get rid of the undead. Aura. So I can push them with the Sanctuary Aura and use the crowd control to kill her with holy bolt and fist of the heavens and it was easy to get to the blood raven but it was more difficult to kill her one. especially on player count like five seven i did i did not try eight mostly because of the souls even with the resists i had i had like 40 plus lightning resist the souls were burning my mana so I was, I was not able to sustain myself I had to constantly use Sanctuary Aura I couldn't use Redemption so that's first part I spent like a couple of hours maybe three there or Scepter Wing then at some point I decided to try Arcane Sanctuary because over there the rats and the ghoul lords are also wounded so there were no problem with the sanctuary aura it was only the goat men that were who were just demons so i was i still was able to farm there with with holy bolt and fist of the heavens the summoner on the other hand compared to so the blood raven the blood raven was way easier to, to feed to fight the summoner was way easier to defeat even on player 7, player 8. It took me longer to get to the summoner, but once I got there, I was able to clear and kill him, which is pretty easy and everything was pretty straightforward. So I was able to gather, to gather the keys from the summoner. I was still switching to the, the, the Blood Raven, but it was it became a secondary source of keys. Once I got the keys, it was time to start opening the portals. In BT Diablo, three pandemonium Ooh. keys open a random red portal. Den. So my first attempt, my first portal was Matron's Den. That was the mostly undesired one, but it is what it is. So I was able to defeat Andariel. What's the damage? It's fine. So I'll... I'll use the Sanctuary Aura for the Mephisto fight, probably. The second red portal I opened was Forgotten Sons. So I try, I killed Duriel, that was even easier than Andariel having drugs and using Smite is just if an I insane combination. It, I'm not the first one to tell you this thing. After that, I exit the game and started a new one, hoping that the third portal I open will be one of the first two and I wouldn't have to go search for Israel in the Furnace of Pain. And the third portal I opened was again Forgotten Sons, so that was once again good. Then I got to fighting the Ubers. There we go. You know the drill. A lot of lightning resist for Mephisto. At some point during the fight, I decided to try the bone armor I had crafted Will for my mercenary, so I can proc okay. bone armor, which will reduce, which will further reduce the damage I take for from monsters. Okay. I am proking bone armor all the time.
the idea to use bone armor came from this video that I, I had watched almost a year ago where Lord Zhang Fei defeats the Ubers with a necromancer using only poison nova and bone armor to proc the bone armor skill of the necromancer I will link this one below my video I'm starting to think that I made make myself my life harder when I don't respect into sanctuary aura after defeating Mephisto Oh, and I've just realized that I'm fighting without cannot be frozen. I... After defeating Diablo, I got the torch and I went again to see what my luck was. And here is the clip from the live recording for you. Ooh, just what I needed. Sixteen, fifteen, Paladin. Hello? How are you? And last but not least, let me show you the gear. I crafted a strength because I had just one IO rune that I used on my ground helm for the Mephisto fight. The base has plus two fanaticism, which buffs my damage a bit. And of course, the crushing blow is still very nice Drax I got these from my Mephisto fight from my playthrough and they're just the best in slots no no questions asked over here I started using bone flesh and at some point as I mentioned already I switched to using bone which in BT Diablo is way way cheaper it is soul aim aim and it is no, it, it is really easy to get by, to craft it, to create it, to use it. So it is very good armor. The, the boots that I used for the majority of the Ubers fight and the boots that I should have used for the majority of the fights. Or resist belt with faster hit recovery, re dual res ring, carry on wind for life leech attack rating, Poison damage reduced and damage goes to mana. Proking Twister is also nice. Resist on the amulet. And at the end, I fought the Ubers with my Splendor Shield, which has higher smite damage because it's Sacred Targe, and not my Rhyme Shield, because I thought I would use the Cannot Be Frozen on the boots. My resists were capped, everything seemed really nice and I was I just didn't want to mess my shields and just switch the rune words before the fight and you've already seen the torch it is 16 15 paladin torch which really fit my character let me show you Emilio he rocks the obedience I crafted for him Whole Tusk for damage and magic damage, blood reduced, more blood damage reduced. He rocked the treachery that I used to proc myself as well. Belt with further damage and magic damage reduced and a lot of poison length reduced, faster hit recovery. Really good crafted ring for even more magic and damage reduced strength, vitality, everything and just a little damage to supplement everything so this was my fight with the Ubers 
I think this is the end of my Paladin journey in BT Diablo Season 2. Thank you so much for stopping by the streams that I had. Thank you so much for consuming the content. I would really appreciate if you do subscribe for my channel. It is something that really helps me and makes me happier and gives me a reason to continue. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.